G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Thai Silencer. This is Kylo Ren's vehicle from The Last Jedi, following in his grandfather's footsteps, who also had his own special TIE Fighter. We have the TIE Silencer, so Kylo's gone down this path. Uh, it's a fantastic vehicle, uh, really, really superb, looks fantastic on the shelf. Lengthwise, you can see there, it's probably around about a 40, 45 centimeters long, uh, probably around about 30 centimeters wide. Uh, it does have a cockpit, does come with a figure. As you can see there, Kylo. Um, the other great thing about this is it's force sensitive um, with the um, force link set. So if you put it on there and you can see the lights shining up. And then you've got some of the vehicles sounds there. I'll just move that out of the way. The, uh, the figure is also force sensitive. Now, if you've bought the three and three quarter inch unmasked version, that's pretty much what you're going to get in the box as well. So I'll give you a look there. You can see there's the scarring on the face. The only difference between the one that you get in the packaged version as compared to what you get in the box version is he doesn't come with a cape. You just basically have him in his uh, sort of outfit with uh, no rubber cape in which to attach. Obviously helps him fly around, maybe keeps it in the back. But uh, it does come with vehicle, uh, sorry, the missiles, not vehicle. If you uh, push this button here on the back, it pops both missiles out. And uh, what's great to see these things is we're not back with Nerf darts anymore. We have uh, two missiles there. Disappointed they're not sort of red for the, uh, the dark side. And then you just fire them again by pushing the button up the top. The springs are quite nice. To place the uh, missiles back in, just push them in either side. And there you go. So I'll give you a shot at the front. You do have clear or sort of plastic, black plastic. It does have some ability to let a bit of light through, but not a lot. The vehicle uh, does sit the figure in there quite nicely, as you can see. Hopefully that's picking up on the camera. And uh, Kylo looks pretty bummed, probably because in the according to the trailer, looks like he, he may have just shot down his mother. But we'll wait and see when we see the uh, movie come out. But as I said, all in all, a fantastic vehicle. Uh, a little bit tricky to pick up here in Australia. I did get this from Toys R Us um, here in Australia. I found it on their eBay store. So if you are looking, uh, have a look, especially when they come around and have those 5, 10, 15, 20% discounts. You can, you can usually pick them up on eBay as well. So thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. As you can see, there's lots here that I'm doing reviews on. So feel free to check out the channel and see what's there. If there's anything that uh, piques your interest. Managed to pick up the rest of the 40th anniversary wear wave, which I was super happy about, as well as a couple of other vehicles over the last couple of months. So we've got the A-Wing and the Ski Speeder. So well and truly, go and check those out if you like. Big thanks to everybody who subscribes to the channel. Big thanks to everybody who gives us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to ask questions, share your comments. I'll try and answer where I can. And it's always great to hear from you all. So anyway, have a great day. Cheers.